Hello, everybody. Is this a common problem for you? You get a Nintendo 64 game, you're all excited, and then you try and turn it on, and it just doesn't really load. So here's our game, and we're going to get this to work 100% of the time, okay? All that you need is a screwdriver and a game bit, but actually, no, you don't need any of this because I know you don't have it. So I'm going to show you how to do it without any of this stuff. You can use a Q-tip and isopropyl, but this is a really temporary solution. You're not actually cleaning the grime off of the game. So all that you need is a cardboard drink holder, just like this. As you can see, it's folded in half. Ideally, yours is cleaner than mine is. And then a regular piece of paper. What you're going to do is take one edge of the drink holder, put it in to put the piece of paper, and then fold the two edges into the drink holder, and then the final fold like this. And this is your super cleaning tool. Basically, what you're going to do is put this in like so, and then kind of bend it a little bit, see, like that? and then just go back and forth. And it takes a while to do it this way. It's much more effective to use a game bit and open the game. I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of this video, but I know that most of you watching this, you don't have a game bit, so it's not really useful for me to show you that. And really, you should do it for one or two minutes, okay? Flip the game over, and then do the same thing. Because you wanna clean both sides, okay? And just keep going again for one or two minutes. The advantage of this method is that you're never going to really, it's really hard to actually damage your game. Whereas if you open it up and you use sandpaper or some kind of chemical or abrasive, you're going to ruin your game. Okay, and let's see. We should be able to put this in. And then it worked the first time. Worked the second time. And it worked the third time. Now, I can tell just by putting this in that this game still isn't fully clean. So now let me show you why you need to have one of these game bits if you have a Nintendo 64. So here we have, because of our game bit, we were able to actually remove the circuit board of the game. To clean this properly, all you need is an inch square piece of paper, like this, right? And then what you're gonna do is fold it in half three times, okay? One, like that, and then two, there we go. And then one more time, let's go like this. And what you end up with is sort of a V, okay? This is the single safest, most effective Nintendo 64 cleaning tool. Simple, right? And then all you do is grab your game Make sure to grab it by the edges. And then you put the V there, like this, okay? So my thumb is putting pressure on one side, and the finger is putting pressure on the other side. And then you just go up and down. And keep doing this in batches. So do it for about 30 seconds. You'll be able to look at the little piece of paper, and you see all that grime? This is why there's really no other method that works as well as opening the cartridge. Because it allows you to so easily, simply clean the game to get it to be working perfectly. And what you can do is each time sort of refold the paper so that you're using a clean edge, right? And then we're gonna do it again, okay? So we just fold it over just like this and then keep going. Eventually, You'll notice that it becomes very easy to do this. In the beginning, when it's dirty, there's a lot of resistance, and that's actually all the grime and dust that's accumulated there. Once it's clean, it'll actually be really smooth. It's like easy to just go from end to end, and I can tell that this game is already clean. It wasn't actually that dirty, okay? So we can look at it again and see just how much grime is there. And you can see there's a little bit, but this is basically a clean game, okay? So here we go, we have our game, put it in, and I can already tell just by the moment you, that, it just goes in so smooth, you know, boom, it's gonna work. You can actually, once you get the hang of it, you can tell just by how easily the game goes in and out, whether it's gonna run. 
So you, you can get to a point where you don't even need a TV to guesstimate how clean the game is. And see, now you can see that it works perfectly every single time. And so that's why this is the single best cleaning method for your Nintendo 64 games. Thanks for watching. I make lots of videos all about Valheim. So check out my weekend Valheim videos if you want to learn more about that. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about making your Nintendo 64 console or the games work properly, then just comment below and I'll get to answering them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.